back just for a second to the uh, issue of improvisation because I know we we're like it's great, but when is it not great? When when is is there a time? Let me Brandy or Lily as a director when you go please, uh, I I want because I know when I was particularly when I was on ER for all those years that I would I really would look at the script and I would look at the tiny little changes a writer would make in the scene, and I thought somebody worked really hard on this, there, there was a reason. So I'd really try to get the lines exactly as they were written. Uh, so when is it a great thing to do, and when is it a, a thing where you really want to honor the, the writer's words? Um, I, I don't yell cut right away. I, I, let, I let my actors react to whatever the last moment of the scene was. And if I have an insecure or an anxious actor, inevitably they'll start saying something. And I'll, on the first take, I'll let them do it. But then the second take, I'll go in there and say, uh, okay, so I have that. Uh, let's do it again. But this time, don't say anything. I just want you to sit in the moment because I'm looking for a moment to end the scene. I'm looking for a... An, a feeling or an expression on your face to end the scene on. And if you're talking, I'm not gonna get it. So I want you as the actor to, to really absorb and hold that last moment in the scene. And I'm just gonna stay on you. And if I don't yell cut, don't fall apart. Just stay in that moment, maybe dig in deeper. Maybe I'll find some expression on your face that I'm going to be able to end this scene on. Or move it to another part of the scene. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was going to say, too, is it really, for me, you, you should be able to get a feel from if you've seen episodes before, but even from the director, you should, they should be able to be clear with you that this is okay on this set, this is not okay on this set. Some shows, every word better be said exactly as it's written, and the director knows that going in, and so if you're pushing to do some of that, you'll get shut down immediately, and not in a bad way, but just say, they're not gonna let us do that. Or there, if, you know, it's also genre-based, so obviously comedy lends itself much more, so they're more willing. To, I'll even have, like, even on an episode that doesn't like a lot of improv, I'll let them do a few different pitches as long as I have what's on the page. So, and then there's another show that I don't change a word, everybody says the right words, and then there's a show where nobody says the right words. <laughs> and I don't know how they cut it, but that's the way they work. Well, sometimes yeah. though, I think that it, it uh, also, um, it, there's also a hierarchy the leads in a television show and the leads in a feature get to, Jack Nicholson gets to improv. Um, Viola Davis, if she wants to say something different from the script, she gets to. And those of us who are guest starring on a show, your job is to say the words as written. Unless, unless the lead says something to you and looks at you, and we were just talking about that, if you, if you want to respond, if it's a question or something, and you want to respond, go ahead. And if I don't like what you did, I will say something to you. Um, but always, you know, test the water, test the temperature of the show, see what the leads on the show are doing, and follow, follow what, they're, what they're doing. You know, allow, you are a guest in their house. And the guest in the house doesn't run around and use all the toilet paper in every bathroom. You know, you don't run around and do that. You conduct yourself like a guest. And, and so it, it's just a different mindset, I think. Yeah, but as far as knowing your lines are concerned, on West Wing, we would ha that's Aaron Sorkin, and he wrote every line of dialogue in every episode of West Wing, and every line that aired is exactly as it was written. He would make the, the assistant editors go through and do, do what was called a dialogue variation list, and the assistant would have to compare every word that was written with how it was written in the script and report to Aaron if there was even 
one word of variation, and he would have to either approve it or send him back to the editing room. He was known on the dubbing stage when you're in the last stages of completing a show to see a line that was not the way it was. And he knows every line that's in the script. And he would send the editors back to the editing room and make them fix it because it did not match what was in the script. So uh, that's very important to a lot of people. Any writer, it's very, very important. So if you've got a writer producer on your show, Know your lines. Well, on ER, I, I on ER we, we had to say our lines exactly as written. We couldn't change a the to an uh yeah. right. unless you called the writers down and asked. And them. that's a me that's a medical show, so they gotta be. But pretty even accurate. on the even on our conversations. Yeah, like yeah I mean, I remember the last episode. Um, I think you know, you, uh, like we were talking about earlier with the hierarchy. Obviously, number one on the call sheet is gonna have a, no problem walking up to me or the writer and saying, I want to say it this way, this doesn't make sense, this is, I, this, I'm not getting this, all of those things, and they have every right to. And so I had uh, another person that was new to the show but was a regular, and she has less agency when it comes to that. But if it doesn't make sense to her, it makes sense to ask. And there may be a reason why it's written a certain way. There's stuff, there's always tongue twisters, as I'm sure you've known that they don't realize they're tongue twisters, but when you start to try to say them. Um, but they, but it was, but it's great if, I, I say, the best thing I think is to talk to the director first and say, you know, is this a place that, you know, I'm having trouble with this line, or would this make more sense, or, or could we talk about this? And now that writers are on set all the time, I can go straight to the writer and say, how do you feel about this as a, as a line change? And if they're good with it, or, or very likely, like, um, there'll be times when they're like, can we, pit, what, can we pitch something else here? I don't think this is that funny. This is coming from number one, by the way, not. Um, and so they're, the writers are usually always open to that because they want it to, be great, anything. Um, I would say, you know, if you're a guest actor and you have four lines, you should probably say those four lines. <laughs> Good idea. Um, you know, I, it's just, you kind of have to gauge that. But um, but if those four lines really don't make sense, then, you know, don't, don't I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset if, it, if a, an, a guest actor came and said, like, I'm not sure what this is, because we can have a conversation about it and, and make sure it makes sense. But there's a lot of times where a, an actor will ask to change a line and say it in a different way. And the truth of the matter is, is rhythmically, in the scene, it's better the way it's written. It, even sometimes if it doesn't make more logical sense, it's, it's the rhythm that they're working for as a writer, so that it's, we're serving more than one uh, word, that word. Yes, yes, master. More masters than just one. 